and the blue lines are the doors. The question is, could you start in one of these rooms, if you're maybe standing here, and then somehow walk around through the house and reach every room and cross through every door only once? Is there a way to do it? And I think the natural approach for us at this point is to actually use graph theory, right? To set up each room as a vertice and each door as an edge. So here are our, our, our first vertice. We notice we have this one door leading out to, to nowhere, right? Um, so this is an interesting case. We have an edge that seems to go nowhere. We'll draw that out over here and an isolated verte vertex, I guess. Um, no, actually, it's, it is a vertex of degree one. I guess we sh I'm sorry, we should call it the outside, right? Not nowhere, but leaving the house. So we can go into the house through that door or leave that way. And then we enter this room, and there are one, two, three, four doors. One that led out that we already drew. Another one that goes to this side room right here. And then one that reaches the room over here. That's this doorway. A doorway over here to this room. Then we have a, and we're in this room is a doorway going down to, an, to another room down here. And a doorway that leads outside again. So there's two ways in and out of a house, right? And from that room, we can't get to this room over here. There's no connection, no door. Uh, and from this room down here, there's a door that leads outside. That's this door right here, and then one over here. Which leads to this room, and another way out. There's plenty of ways out in this house. And here, this is the only room we haven't dealt with yet. We have this one doorway but there's also one here as well. So can we actually do this? And I think I think the answer is no, and I think it's kind of intuitive. Let's look at it. What are the degrees of the vertices? Well, this degree is 1, and this degree is 1 over here. But so is this one. So we have a third, a third vertice with an odd degree, and that's a big problem. We'll talk about that in a moment. This has a degree of 2 degree of 2, degree of 4, and 2. This has a degree of 4. This has a degree of 2. And this also has a degree of 1. So there it is. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 different vertices with an odd degree. So that means, right, in a sense, that we have to leave this vertice at some point. Okay? And no matter how we work this graph, what's going to happen? Well, somehow we're going to end up and cross and eventually get to this vertice over here. But then we can never come back and travel to any of these vertices. And that's a problem. Well, you say, okay, well then don't go to that one right away. We'll go to that one last. We'll leave on this vertice. I say, okay, so we'll undo that. We'll go back. But now you have to come back down here. And now there's an exit down here. So you have to also exit to this, this vertice. But if you leave this way, how are you going to get back in? Right? Is there any way to do that? So, no, you can't. And the same thing here. So there is no way to walk through every room of this house. Except, of course, if we think of the outside as being one large connected room. And that would force us to re redraw our graph. So if we, if we do that, how do we do that? Okay, so now I have to erase some stuff. That's okay. So what if the outdoors was one big vertice? Going to rethink this, right? This one over here, and then we'll see if it's possible. Over here, erase this, and we don't know. We don't know if those are. We don't know if all the outside of the house is accessible, or maybe there's some like patio that goes down to the water. We don't know much about it, but let's assume, since we're just trying to play with this problem, there is some way to get to the outside. Once you're in the outside, you're really in a big room, right? It's the outside. So how do we deal with that? Okay. So this, this vertice up here leads to the outside. Oops, that's not the right line size. Let's fix that. And let me just draw it over here. OK. How else can we get back in the house? Well, we can go this way. We can also go this way. And we can also go in, I think, this door right here. So now this vertice is the outside. And, and there are edges and ways back in the house. So now the degree of this vertice is really just 4. The degree of this vertice is still 4. 
the degree of this vertice is still 2. And in fact, now it's possible. Because every vertice has an even degree. So not only is it possible, but we can start in any room, walk to every other room and cross every other door, and still end up back in the room we started. There's always a way to do that. So let's pick a room. Well, I put this character in this room right here. But we can move them anywhere. Let's start over in this room down here. So that's that corresponds to this vertice. So how do we do it? Well, I don't know. But let's walk around, have fun, and try to figure it out. So I want to get to this room over here. That means I'm walking this way. Oops. Walking this way through the door. And then I'm going to walk outside. Okay. Now what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to go all the way back in this door over here. Back in this room. So that means I'm going to follow this edge. Alright, now what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to kind of meander through the house. So we go this way, and this way, and now I have no choice but to go outside. And that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to follow this all the way back to the room down here, which is outside, and I have to come back in the house. Now I don't want to use the doors that I've used already, so I'm going to use this door. Coming back in. And now I'm going to cross over to this room. That means I'm going to walk up here. Now I'm in here. Back to the room on top. And then, of course, back in the original room. So it all depends how the context of the graph. I mean, we don't, we don't know what outside means. Um, it, it makes the most sense, of course, that outside is connected. But those are the kind of questions you want to think about when you're setting up your graph. You want to be clear. What does it mean when you go outside? Is there some kind of weird fence set up that you can't uh, connect the, the, the exits of the house um, to exits to lead you to different places outside that can't be brought together. We don't know. But if they were connected, then this graph is possible. If they weren't connected, if the outside was separate separate places, then we can't actually walk through this house uh, by crossing each door only once. All right.